Hello, Jim Pettibot here with <clears throat> Mars Horizon, the game, the real game. Uh, I wanted to finish. I wanted to finish going through the tutorial and the demo, but uh, I downloaded the game. The demo went bye. So I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna fumble along here. I don't know if I want to go through the whole uh, yeah I liked what I was doing we'll just do that we're gonna change the traits what's this three additional contractors that's yeah, remove all okay so I had Base subsidy for one point, which gives us an extra two thousand, two thousand, two million in funds. I had Pathfinders, which gives us minus twenty five percent. That. And we had unknown entity, which everything started at zero. We had two points left, which gave us launch veteran and launch veterans, plus one level to all vehicle parts. And one point left in the name of what? In the name of progress. So, this gives us no support penalty for failed missions. It gives us a plus one to level to all vehicle parts. Minus 25% research. And we started out with two million in funds. Confirm. Uh, everybody's neutral. And we go with Explorer because we're just... Just the way we play. Got to do it easy. Since I... <clears throat> since I am just... Oh, enable tutorial. Okay, well, maybe we can go through the part of the tutorial anyway. At some point, maybe turn it off. Hey, start the game. Loading. Welcome, Director. The space race has begun. I think we've done this before, but we'll do it again. Uh, saying ahead, the pack will require unprecedented feats of engineering and no shortage of daring. Your key role, or your role, is to develop our space program, leading us into orbit and beyond. Keep our agency at the forefront of space science and inspire generations to come with their triumphs. Humans will one day set foot on another planet. Let's make sure we get there first. Good luck, Director. Hey. Okay, yeah, we did the solar system screen gateway, blah, blah, blah. Your agency, research base screens, selecting plans, discover available missions, and viewing recent and upcoming events. Okay. Cool. Your current tutorial objectives are tracked here. <clears throat> I guess I can uh Glean these has a great way to set your agency get your agency up and running. Alright. First objective, crucial step for any new space agency agency, constructing and launching an experimental sounding rocket to test and improve your booster technology. Okay. Uh planetary body, solar system, training missions. Test launch. That's where we're at. Uh, mission screen. Missions. All missions belonging to the selected planetary body. Okay. Details current selected mission can be seen here, such as the length of the mission and rewards for the offer. Okay. Milestone missions. Milestone missions are two, two types of missions. Milestones and requests. Milestone missions are important for advancing your space program will be contested. I, 
be contested by other agencies, they will often require additional research. Okay. Request missions will become available as your agency completes milestone missions. It can be a valuable way of boosting your support and science. Request missions don't require additional research, but each is only available for a limited time. Okay. <clears throat> research is required to unlock currently selected mission. will be listed here. Note that the required research has already been completed for test launch. Okay. Space race. All the space agencies will be racing to compete milestone missions first. Doing, your, doing so will result in increased support for your agency. Here you can track the progress of the five agencies regard, uh, in regards to the current selected mission. Okay, Planning the mission. Once, you, once you're ready, select Plan Mission to start planning the test launch mission. Continue. Plan Mission. Alright. Mission plan includes each stage necessary to make the mission into the drawing board up into space. Note that each mission plan takes takes up one mission slot. You can unlock additional slots by constructing mission control buildings. Okay. Test uh, test launch has no payload, so you can get straight into design the launch vehicle. Okay. Let's uh, design. Okay. On this screen, you'll be able to select previous vehicle designs, or choose to start a new design. For test launch, only sounding rockets can be selected. This is the vehicle designer. Oh, well, I don't have a small launch pad. <coughs> You'll be able to design your vehicle for your mission. Okay. <sighs> Everything's locked. I don't. Okay. The vehicle's made of booster. Upper stage booster must be able to carry the upper stage, while the upper stage must be able to carry the payload. Okay. Note for test launch, only the sound, only the sounding rocket may be selected, and there is no payload. All right. Vehicle status. Once uh, displayed here are the vehicle stats, where you can check the booster has enough capacity to carry the upper stage, and the vehicle can reach the minimum distance required by the mission. Okay. Note: the launch pad requirement is not currently met. The sounding rocket requires a small launch pad. You can still design and build a vehicle without the required launch pad, but you'll need to build the launch pad in order to launch the vehicle. Okay. Launch reliability is a key stat determining the chances of the vehicle launching without error. In this experimental vehicle, the sounding rocket has a very low um, launch reliability. However, it will gain a large amount of launch reliability per launch, even if it blows up. Okay. Uh, Okay, sounding rocket, valid design for the mission, so, it, oh, yeah, Albatross, that sounds like, uh, I think we'll keep that, uh, confirm. Once your vehicle has been constructed, you will receive a construction report from your engineers. This will often include traits that may affect how you approach the next stage of the mission plan. Uh, unrefilled trait. <clears throat> if you have the necessary funds, you can start constructing the vehicle. This can take several months. Once the vehicle is completed, you'll be able to move it on to the final stage of the mission plan and set the launch date. Okay? So... <sighs> Build it. The Albatross. Okay. Now, we have to research the launch pad. Now that the sounding rocket is constructing, it's time to build a launch pad capable of launching it. The first step is to complete this appropriate small launch pad research. Various, uh, various screens crucial to your running your agency can be uh, accessed here. When you're ready, select the research icon and access the research screen. Yep. And... Uh, research vital to the prog progressing of your space program. The screen is split into three research three research trees, missions, buildings, and vehicles. This is the missions tree, which contains the necessary research to unlock new missions and their respective payloads. Okay. Each tree is made up of nodes that represent cert te certain technologies or areas of research. These nodes will often require the completion of other nodes before they can be researched. For example, the mis mission research artificial satellite must be completed before payload research beneath can be started. Okay. Each research node requires a certain amount of science. 
Okay. Uh, science can be earned via missions of buildings. Note, you can select a node to view more details about the research. Okay. Research errors. Yeah, what was it? We couldn't go into three or four in the demo. Each research tree is split into errors, which represent the technological age. Reaching a new era on any tree will unlock planetary bodies in the solar system screen. Completing all the available research in a single error on a tree will grant a Power, grant a powerful reward. Uh, when you're ready, select the building tree in order to find the small launch pad. Uh, building tree, key to expanding your base and capabilities of your agency. Okay. To be able to launch your first mission, you'll need to research the small launch pad. Select the small launch pad node to view its details and press left mouse button to set it as the active research. 50,000, 5,000 upkeep, build time a month. Uh, cost 80, we've got 110. So let's research that. Now once again they just leave us, leave us, well, boost of mess. Okay. You can keep track of your resources, money, or funds, science, and support. Support is primarily earned from completing missions. Earned support is key to reaching higher funding tiers, which will increase your monthly funds available. Money is, or funds is required for constructing vehicles, buildings, and many other key aspects of your space program. Okay. Science is earned from missions in certain buildings crucial to conducting research. The more science you collect, the faster you'll be able to unlock new technology. Okay. Upcoming events related to your agency will be shown here along with the number of months before they occur. Okay. Past events will appear here, include noble news, other space agencies, keep an eye on events to see what the other agencies are up to. Okay. Advancing time. Press next month will uh, advance time by one month. Next event will advance time until the next important event. Press either of these when you're ready to continue. Okay. Small launch pad research complete. Launch pads are essential service structure for launch vehicles, allowing maintenance work and providing data about vehicle ahead of launch. Okay. Once a new building has been unlocked via research, it can be constructed on your base. Okay. Accessing the base screen. To start construction of the small launch pad, you'll need to visit the base screen. Ding! There we are. All right. Expanding your base is vital to increasing your, uh, your agency's launch capabilities and my floor. Uh, on this screen, you'll be able to construct new buildings that you research, move or demolish existing buildings, and clear obstructions to create more space. Okay. You can use Q and E to rotate the screen and mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. Once you research the small launch pad, you'll be able to construct it in your base as long as you have the required funds. Okay. I think I have the required fund. Oh, building details. Uh, you'll be able to see all the buildings you've unlocked so far. Each building has a unique effect and may, uh, many of which will be crucial to improving your agency. Okay. Buildings also have a build cost and upkeep. You'll need to be able to afford both in order to construct the building. You'll only be able to construct one of most buildings, but some can have their building limit increased via further research. Okay. Build a small launch pad. Construct a small launch pad. Select from the list and select build. If you can't afford it, wait a month or two until you can. Uh, okay. Uh, allows launch of small vehicles. Essential service launch vehicles on maintenance work and providing data. Okay. Building limit. One month build time. All right. Now what? New building can be placed wherever there's a 
self-sufficient space, building on top of a removal of removable ob obstructions as possible as long as you can afford the additional cost of removing the obstruction. You can rotate the building site by X and Z. Each building has potential positive negative adjacency effects determined by the building is placed next to you. Try placing this one alongside different buildings to compare effects. Plan your base layout carefully to get the most out of the positive adjacency effects, but remember you can always move your buildings later. Okay, what do I get there? Minus one. Move it over here. No. I'm going to have to save. We're going to have to put it there. There we go. Your small launch pad is now constructing. Once it's completed, you'll be able to launch your first rocket. Okay. Uh, so I guess... I guess this is like the site, the biggest this thing's going to get. Okay. Oh yeah, now we have to research something. Now the previous research is complete. Uh, launch a sounding rocket, build a sounding rocket. Uh, a good early choice to artificial satellite mission, which will allow your agent to start working towards putting this first major payload in this orbit. Major milestone. Okay, let's uh, missions. Artificial satellite. I'll go back. And I guess, I guess, let's see, what is the, your current planning stages, they're in, okay, nobody's doing anything in that, animal space, human in space, Two multi crew orbital EVA commercial satellite. All right, so small launch pad is complete. Launch pads are essential service structure for launch vehicle. And we have the Albatross plus five, 50%. Okay, include a payload, da da da. First stage mission plan be designed and construct the payload. Okay, well, we don't. Okay, set the launch date. Uh, on the calendar screen, you'll be able to set the launch date for your mission. Each month represents a launch window, uh, optimal, suboptimal, suboptimal, and invalid. Okay. <clears throat> Ideal launch date, suboptimal, launch reliability penalty, and you cannot in an invalid. Other agencies. For milestone missions, you can view the progress of other agency agencies for the current mission here. You'll also be able to see the scheduled launches on in the calendar. Be sure to schedule your launch before those other agencies if you want to beat them to the milestone. Okay. So, I have 50% go there, 50% plus 5, I go there, I don't see anything that's really changing, no upgrades, yep, well, we'll just go there, confirm mission setup, oh wait, can't do that yet. Final stage of the mission plan involves signing a crew, deciding on a training program, and setting a launch date. Well, we don't have any of that, so uncrewed mission, no crew need to be assigned. Training is also locked for now until the appropriate building are constructed on your base. <sighs> all that remains to set the all-important launch date for the mission. Select the launch date button and get started. Did that. Done. Confirm. Go to the solar system. Launch date set for your 
chest launch. Now all that remains is advanced time until the launch month. Artificial satellite research completed. First essential step in any space program. First agency to launch a satellite in a stable orbit around the Earth will take a prominent early lead in the space race. Reached era one, the dawn of space flight. As rocket technology advances, so does the prospect exploring beyond the confines of our planet. Yet the public continue to question whether the fledgling agencies can overcome the dangers of space flight. We unlock the moon. Okay. Test launch. Optimal date, no training set, launch preparations, 50%, launch the missile. Flip of a coin. Mission control. Albatross. Launch day. Uh, what, 44%? Uh, okay. 56% Five, four, chance three, of a... Two, one. <clears throat> and the first thing to look for is sparklers coming out the end. There it is. There, that's off the bat. We have lift off. I don't see any sparklers. No sparklers. And there it is. What do we got? Well, well. 25% mission. But. But. Our. Uh, what? We gone to 60% on our. Test launch. Milestone. First one. Yes. Okay. Now what? I'm going to say NASA. Oh, we are NASA. I forgot. All right. Congratulations on completing your first tutorial objective. Your second, your test launch was a resounding success, granting your agency valuable support and science. Okay, next tutorial involves achieving a crucial milestone for your space agency, placing your first artificial, artificial satellite in orbit. Such a noteworthy mission is bound to grant valuable science as well as support from the wrapped public. First step in this new endeavor is to complete the required research the artificial satellite mission and its mission payload. Visit the research screen. Oh, okay. Research. I guess we have to do the explorer. Because after that, then we have to have uh, yeah okay vehicle parts emissions require booster upper stage later on you'll be able to research supplementary boosters to make your launch vehicles even more powerful okay this is just a so we'll have to. We'll have to research these. Besides the mission, we'll also have to do these. Okay. By reaching the moon, by reaching the first era, you unlock the moon. The moon can now be selected in the solar system screen, where a list of missions to the moon will be shown. Reaching further eras will unlock more planets in the solar system. Okay. So. All right. Explorer research complete. 
small simple satellite An artificial satellite mission payload research you can start the mission plan select earth to find the mission but note you'll have you'll need a free mission slot okay uh, artificial satellite um, okay so like suggested we have to get those all right plan the mission Mission payload will be carried by your launch vehicle into space and used by mission tasks that occur after the launch. <sighs> payload rating is the overall rating based on the payloads modules. The more details on the payloads modules and on the mission tasks can be found by payload reliability. Uh, determines the chance the payload modules will operate without errors during mission. The higher payload reliability will generally make mission tasks easier to complete but sometimes worth sacrificing for better modules or cheaper build costs okay launch vehicle uh, capacity the building upper stage must be able to carry the payloads mass okay each mission payload has an available variance which can be used to further customize the payload for your current mission. Each variant has strengths and weaknesses compared to the standard version of the payload. Okay. What's this do? Reduce payload. Reduce payload. Increased build cost. Build time, two months. Starting power, six. Crew capacity, done. All right. Let's do it. Like they do with vehicles, your engineers will deliver a construction report on the payload once it's completed. This can include traits that may affect your choice of vehicle design in the next stage. Okay. Once you have the necessary funds, which we do, you can start construction of the payload. Construction can take several months. Okay. What are we looking at here? 70% reliability. Positive 30%. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Now we need to research fifty fifty another hundred thousand. Okay. All right, let's go to the next month. Viking research completed. Okay. Here that back and that gives us that what uh test launch in nine months test month launch in eight months new request mission available on earth hmm. what is that atmospheric sampling Request missions are a great way to supplement your agency's resources, especially if they don't require any further research, just a free mission slot. Each request mission is only available for a set amount of time, and unlike milestones, can be only attempted once. The more milestones you complete, more milestones you complete, the more request missions will become available. But yeah, no mission slot. Okay. Alright. Next month, Vanguard complete. Okay. That's done. Design the vehicle. Explorer. Upper stage. Oh. Launch the mission. Launch the mission, you need a vehicle capable of carrying the payload, okay, made up of booster and upper stage. Select upper stage to get started. Upper stage was oh, available upper stages. 
select one of them to view their stats uh, what's that that's under research what is that that's Viking what is this okay upper stage must be able to carry stage must be able to carry the payload which means payload capacity must be at least equal to and it's also max destination that you need to okay upper stage mass upper stage mass will determine the size of the booster to carry it when designing vehicles you commonly use parts you haven't researched yet this can be the best way to design the perfect vehicle for your mission. It won't prevent you from cycling the vehicle. However, you need to research parts before. Okay. okay. Upper stage. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Payload capacity, clothes, payloads, mass, order time, save, build cost, build time. However, there'll be some circumstances where larger parts are better suited. When you're happy, yep. I selected my part and uh, what's that? That's upper, upper, lower. Delta? No, I haven't researched that yet. Nope. 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 Okay, we've got that. All right, now we have to. What? Uh, um, let's go back. Let's go back. Now the payload for our first silo has been completed. Time to design a vehicle. All right, fine. All right. What have Vanguard and Viking? Okay. Um, uh, uh, no. No. Oh, yes. 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 Got that. Got that. Okay. Now, how do I get back to oh, Earth? Okay, artificial satellite, view plan, select vehicle, design new, upper stage, which is Viking level one. Okay, and that's the sky. Out. That's an upper stage. Redstone? No. Maple? No. Jupiter. Vanguard. Booster. Redstone? No. Able? No. Scout? No. Jupiter? No. Oh, 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 oh! Never mind, never mind. I don't want to do anything wrong now. Uh, okay, Viking? Viking, yes. Select part. Okay. Now that you have a stage, time to click booster. Booster, which is available boosters. The only one we have available is the Vanguard. Main requirement. Everything checks 70%. Booster, 300 kilograms. Well, how do I know how it. Equal to the mass of the upper stage. Okay. Required launch pad. Okay. Small. 
boosters and upper stages will gain experience level every time they're used in the launch up to a maximum of five. Each level gain provides an increase to launch reliability for that part. Different parts gain different different amounts of launch reliability per level. Parts that start with low but gain a lot per level may be a good investment if you're willing to risk a few uncertain early launches. To view more than an info about parts, da -da 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 -da, level K. Uh, Hundred thousand. Got that. Got that. And okay, select that part. That's all checked. Check whether select a booster combination valid for the mission. Okay, yep, that works. Confirming the design. Let's uh, let's rename this. We'll just how about just Vanguard. Van G A U R D. No. No. Something else. Something else. Something else. Something else. Something else. Pay hauler. Supposedly that's where you get your money from is putting putting stuff up into space. Okay, confirm. Build the vehicle. In two months. Oh, set research. So, do we go for a building? What does this do? Unlocks training mission science. Yes. We'll do that next, I think. Well, here it is. No, oh, I don't care about that. So we're getting ready. We'll be what three months out. Since so May, July, Explorer, da, 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 da. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, January, February. September. So the time we're launching our satellite July, August, September. So like two months after China launches its test launch we'll be launching our satellite which will still be months ahead of their test launches. Yes! Okay, so anyway there you go. Going through the tutorial again but this time it's a real game and we've gotten farther than what we did last time so i hope you're enjoying this if you are remember to hit that thumbs up like button that's it not the thumbs up button like button comments suggestions feedback we're going to continue this for a while see how we do in views if not we'll just play it on our own so anyway again i hope you're enjoying this i thank you for watching and uh we'll see you on our next uh, episode <laughs>